What is going on guys, Bisectatron here, bringing you guys today's video. We're doing a live base build. This is Town Hall 13. It's been a while since I've done a live base build for you guys, but it gives you an idea of how, um, I guess, certain players like myself uh, would go about building a base. And we have uh, some new things. We have the scatter shots. We have the new hero to place. There's just some new factors that you have to take into account as a Town Hall 13. So it's still hard to see what the meta is going to be exactly, but um, we can go ahead and start building bases and then always adjust them as the meta changes. So in this video, just going to be building a base in the next 15 minutes or so for you guys, kind of talking through my thought process. Um, and I, you know, the Town Hall is obviously going, it's going to look like a Town Hall 12 base because we haven't seen enough to warrant changing the meta that much. The real question is how do you put a scatter shot in the Town Hall 12 base to make it a Town Hall 13 base? And um, you know, at, at some point we might be you know defending certain Yeti strategies um, or other strategies that become popular uh, at Town Hall 13, but we just don't know quite yet what, what it's gonna be. Um, so let's go ahead and start placing these buildings and we're gonna have an offset town hall as usual. Um, we want the CC close to the town hall. I think uh, Lava Hound and Witch is going to be a very strong combination with this new 45 troop space capacity town hall. Uh, I can really see that being a, a thing. Um, so I'm just going to have it, we'll have this compartment go out a bit to prevent a wall break uh, from opening up the town hall too easily. So it's going to look something like this and then we want to have some uh, we want the CC to uh, be triggered by the use of the hero. So we want it to extend beyond the walls. So I might consider moving it a little bit that way. So it just covers uh, a little bit farther out in this one direction over here. Um, we can actually move the town hall to like that because it's still covered by those walls. And then we can have this come back like that. And we'll go ahead and say we'll put a Tesla here, so if the king is used, he'll run up to that Tesla, trigger the Lava Hound. Because a lot of what we see at Town Hall 12 is how can we sui the heroes without triggering the Lava Hound in the CC. And I think Lava Hound is still going to be a, a strong CC uh, to be using. Um, so I think we're going to have something like this. I like having the walls all around the clan castle. It makes the pathing kind of weird. Um, let's see what else can we do here. We're going to... Probably want to place our, oh, we got a nice notification from CNN or whatever. Um, <laughs> we're going to go ahead and place our first Inferno Tower like this, and um, we'll just make a, a compartment around it. It can be like a, a big compartment. That's fine. Um, let's go like that, and keep the nice uh, four tile gap to prevent the queen from reaching it from any other compartments. Um, so that's good. I think we want to have a central scatter shot. This is going to shoot outwards at any type of town hall entry because it, it, a scatter shot is very directional defense. It it hits and then it kind of the ball skids and does additional damage. So I think it's good to have one central to uh, basically protect a town hall rush. Um, let's have a compartment like this and. Then let's have it kind of come back a little bit here, putting another multi, let's do like that. And we can have this little deal where it goes up and protects from a queen walk along the outside. So we're having a very flat side on the top left. It's going to make it difficult because everything's very flush. The CC protects a lot. It's just a lot of damage uh, on the top left is the idea here. Um, we want to keep the eagle separate. And I think a good thing to do is have these channels that lead to the outside of the base. And let's make one of them, right, like this. Um, you can have it, like, expand as it gets closer to the outside, uh, like that. It's a little asymmetrical, but you get the idea. This is going to uh, push P.E.K.K.A.s out of our base, um, prevent them from pushing deeper in. And let's have, like, a little bit of dead space. We can maybe put the sweepers in there eventually. Um, we'll put the eagle, go ahead and keep it covered to help protect it from king, pekka, stuff like that. Um, and then we'll start to fill out the bottom part of the base here. Um, so let's just have it a compartment like that. It just swings around. 
Um, I like having a small compartment like within a big compartment. It screws up the pathing because things can't really go through the eagle. They're going to go around it in a weird way. And those two multis start picking things off as soon as that starts happening. Um, let's go ahead and... I'm thinking about where to put this second scatter shot. Um, I think it would be nice to actually have it almost close to the first one, like right there. Uh, although we're making things possibly weak for a queen charge coming in at this left inferno, because um, the scatter shot is not going to be great against queen charges, from, from my estimates. Um, for the most part, when you're placing your scatter shot, the way I see it is you want to pretend like it's an inferno tower, treat it as in a similar fashion. There are some you know differences, of course, but generally speaking, without having a lot of experience using it, which is me and a lot of players, that's how I like to think about it. I think we'll have a sweeper uh, somewhere in this area, so let's put that there for now. I like placing the walls before I start getting too touchy on where I'm going to put all my defenses. Um, let's go like that. Bring that wall back a little bit to help protect against wall breakers. Um, what else? What else? I'm going to have more compartments expanding out this direction. Uh, let's keep things kind of tight here with some smaller compartments, like two... Uh, two like that. We can put some air defenses to make it tough for queen charges and different entries with healers. I think healers are going to be a big thing at Town Hall 13 um, by my estimates. Where'd that wall piece go? Um, let's see. What else? What else? So we still have a third inferno we have to place and this other scatter shot I'm not sure about yet. Um, I think what we're going to want to do here is have not compartment, but just walls to help kind of block stuff, make it a little bit of an uncomfortable entry, uh, make the funnels a little bit tricky, stuff like that. Um, so we can go like that as well. Um, just kind of have a lot of buildings at the bottom side. And we're not going to have anything touching the eagle, or within two tiles of it rather, um, to protect against an electron uh, setup. But the question is, let's get this third inferno going somewhere, and let's get the scatter shot. The third inferno, I think, is going to have to be south here. Um, this actually might not be a bad place to put it. Go like that. I kind of like that setup. In that case, let's expand this a little more like that. And we can even move this back, protect against wall breakers a little bit. Um, I could definitely see a suey coming from down the bottom here because the CC is so high up. So we definitely want to take that into account as we're building the bottom of the base, that there's a definitely a lot of suey potential down there uh, to, to bite off a big chunk of the base. But I like the CCs guarding the queen pretty well. Um, although she is a little bit vulnerable there. Maybe we should put her there. That might be a better spot for our queen. Um, and then, of course, the there might be some type of Suey up here for the town hall and the queen, but we have our, our CC guarding it pretty well. Um, the king, we can put like a little offset, so he's still guarding the town hall. And um, yeah, I think that will work okay. Let's see, what else, what else? Um, I think having all three heroes somewhat close is good because it can really mess with the pathing. So I'm going to tentatively put my royal champion there. Because we have so many heroes, let's put the Grand Warden, give them a health uh, buff, and add some DPS to that area. We mentioned we want to have good DPS there. Um, let's go ahead and just put this last scatter shot over here. I think this is not a bad place for it. Uh, it'll protect that Inferno. Although there is some freeze value if they can pull off. A f That's a tough freeze, the Inferno and the scatter shot. Um, but we'll, we'll leave it for now. Um, let's see. Let's put our sweeper here, pushing up. It can protect the town hall side, whereas this one can protect like the eagle side. And we'll just make the pathing really bad over here to prevent the Lalo from like being started on that side. Okay, okay. What else? What else should we start placing? Um, probably air defenses is a good thing to start placing next. And we look at walls. I think we placed all but our our two like max level walls, which is cool. Um, I'll just uh, have this continue over for two more. And ideally, you'd put your max walls in a different spot, but there's only two of them, so uh, whatever. It's just 
educational purposes here. Definitely want an air defense by that inferno. Um, then let's put, I kind of like having this little setup, so it really makes it tough for any type of queen charge uh, by having these air defenses set up like this. Move that one one tile over, because um, it's hard to start a queen charge on either side. Um, then finally we'll have one way up here just kind of guarding the town hall area from any type of air funnel uh, that may be used. So we have to keep in mind the left side of our base doesn't have a lot of air coverage. If they use E-Dragons or something like that. Um, let's put down our Expo. Put one there. I'd say it'd be good to have one like right here. Um... Definitely there's potential to just try to, someone trying to like do a big just spam attack from 12, but we'll use Teslas to make the funnel difficult up there, and I think it's going to be tough to get all the way to the back end, to that eagle, and to the back end Inferno Tower. Um, so I'm still okay with all that. Um, let's put this guy there, keep him, keep everything on air for the most part. Um, and I kind of like having a, maybe another expo like here. Because uh, it's, you know, no one's going to, I mean, maybe a queen walk will be started there. But uh, I like keeping them away from the core in case someone does do a spam attack. They're not, everything's not all in the core there. And actually, why don't we move this up a little bit just to make it a little more awkward to uh, come at that expo from that angle. Okay, I like how this is shaping up, actually. Um, we'll use our traps to compensate for what... Yeah, might be weaknesses on this base as we as we continue through here. Uh, let's see, let's see. Keep the wizard towers just kind of spread out on the back end, kind of away from air defenses if we can, but not a big deal otherwise. Just trying to uh, prevent against bats and stuff like that. So we'll go ahead and throw one here. Um, we got things spread out pretty nicely right now. I don't think a whole lot of bats are going to be be used against us here. Um, let's see. Maybe just put the last one like there. Just go like that. Um, so we're definitely heavy on the back end, which is fine. That way people can't come with dragons from town hall side, uh, which is what we, we want to avoid. Um, bomb tower, protect the queen from skellies. Put the other one in this compartment, there might be a lot of ground troops kind of roaming through here. Um, once again, Eagle is kind of isolated, which is what we want. Not going to get any E-Dragon value on it. Nice sweeper pushing stuff back, too. Um, with the sweeper, like, one more tile. Let's see, let's see. What else? What else? Um, yeah, Queen Charge into that moat is definitely something we have to worry about, so we'll put Seeking Air Mines there to help us out. Let's get the Archer Towers down, get some, uh, some good coverage on this base. Let me move that there so we can go like that. Um, put one up there. Probably going to want one like there. Uh, I think we'll go heavy right here with Archer Towers. Like that. Um, can have one kind of guarding stuff out there. Have one. Uh, we'll have it path into. We'll have a mortar there anyway, so it won't matter. Um, let's put like our last one like up here. Okay, looking good, looking good. Put the cannons down. Um, obviously, for uh, you know certain bases, you're gonna. Test them, tweak them. This is more of a, a rough sketch, you know. Throw some paint at the wall, see if it makes some art type thing. Um, let's put another cannon there. And uh, we wanted the pathing to be bad for Lalo on the left side of the base. So we can have a cannon out here, really spread stuff out over on this left side. Um, yeah, I think that's going to some tough path and they'll put one central like that so it's really a lot of stuff to have to worry about bouncing around in there um, go ahead and put a storage I like putting storages inside the base I'm I typically build my base naturally like pretty well against e-dragon so I'm not that concerned so I don't worry about putting too much hit points in in that uh, being used against me uh, so put a storage there actually that's let's have some 
take a or a wall piece and put it there. Let's just have a gap there for pathing purposes. Um, storage there. Put a builder hut here just to mix it up. Um, storage there. And then we'll just have like, you know, buildings kind of shooting out. Now we want to use these mortars to prevent uh, ice golems from tanking these wizard towers and to also me mess with the pathing a little bit. So we'll go one there. Put like another one out here. Uh, like that. That's good. Um, let's see. Last mortar can go like right up there. Very nice. Okay, and I said, you know, 12 o'clock, we want to make this as difficult an entry as possible. So what I would do is I'd have some storages kind of shooting out from that side. Uh, I'm not going to obviously place all my buildings in this, but um, to give you guys an idea, I think this is a good place to have like a little mini farm there with some Teslas. Definitely going to want to have, uh, I'd say, two skelly traps is good, like that. That would definitely mess with the attacker a little bit. Having some skelly traps there. Um, putting a Tesla like right there as well and then I think one like out here will definitely screw with any type of Lala or hogs trying to come in from that angle especially balloons um, so we'll have like one right out there and also helps protect that wizard tower a little bit better alright so we got a lot of the essentials down um, I like putting one air skelly by the eagle just as a um, can mess with the e-dragons or any type of air attack as it kind of comes through towards the eagle which is a very important thing to get down during an air attack. Um, tornado, I like to put it kind of in a place with a lot of uh, buildings, a lot of defenses, but at the same time um, away from inferno towers so that they can do the work while the stuff is in the tornado. Um, they won't be taken out, It'll be, they'll be sufficiently far enough away and I'm debating putting it next to the town hall, but I don't think I'm going to. Um, I think for this one, the tornado might be best used um, like in this area over here or something. Although we don't want it right next to that inferno, like I just said. Take my own advice here. Um, let's put it like right here. Kind of hold things as they come through in a central way. Uh, definitely going to have troops coming through that area in some form. And then a lot of seeking air mines over on this side. We you know, talked about it's kind of weak against air from this side, so we're going to have at least three of them over there. Um, I'd like to have some up here for a healer's you know, town hall entry, uh, whether it's a queen charge or something else. Uh, this just down here to protect against any type of air coming from that angle. I'd say let's put one more, uh, kind of go big or go home. People use balloons to soak these up anyway. Put one more there, and then our last one can be, um, being, putting it over here, but I think we're, we're in, we have enough on that side. I think we'll just kind of keep it home by these air defenses in the wizard tower. Okay, um, giant bombs. Definitely going to want to have some in the middle just for bowlers or anything like that. Uh, but also along the outside, you can pick off some troops nicely. Uh, put giant bomb there. Put one there, here, and and we'll kind of put another one central. Springs along the outside for hogs between defenses. Um, this is stuff that you guys are used to at this point. But um, let's get those down. Definitely along the outside there. Spring. Uh, spring like that. I'm going to call it here just because of storage on my computer. Unfortunately, running out of time here. Got to clear some stuff out. Small bombs, spring traps. You guys know where to put them. Uh, red air bombs, stuff we've already talked about before. Here's the base. Hope you guys enjoy it. I'll post a link to the finished one in the description if you want to copy it. That'll do it for this video. I'll see you guys next time. Bisectatron out.